What's up YouTube? This is Daniel Carter at Afro Herp Keeper. The Afro is still there, uh, it's just a little condensed for this one. So here's the thing. It's the middle of the week and I don't have any uploads ready. However, I did just receive a relatively large shipment of supplies from Amazon.com. These three boxes just so happen to contain uh, about $150 worth of supplies that are all very relevant to some cool projects I have going on that I haven't disclosed much about on the YouTube channel. I've talked about some of this stuff on my Instagram and at length on my Discord server, both of which you can find in the description of this video. I think I've probably done enough to hype this up. We don't have any live animals or anything in this shipment, but let's roll the intro and we will rip into these right after this. The planet we live on is infested with life. Creeping, crawling, slithering life. Once upon a time, everything we did revolved around the natural world. But now there are billions of us and we as a species have never strayed further from our roots. Even so, some of us continue to slip through the cracks. I'm not scared of any animal, no matter the number of teeth, claws, or legs. My only directive is to reconnect you with the wild, to defend the creatures that need it most, and to do my part to preserve the biodiversity of our remarkable world. My name is Daniel Carter, and you're watching Afro Herb Keeper. of these to start with. Let's do, uh, for all intents and purposes, I think this one is the smallest. Very cool, very cool. Okay, we have exactly one product in this huge box. So this is a wooden toy. This is not meant for my parrots or my quail or any of my reptiles. This is actually for a brand new project I have going on that I've talked about on my Instagram. As of now, I am actually breeding my own African soft fur rats. Soft furs are a small species of African rodent. They're also known as multi-mammate mice. And their adult size is somewhere between the size of a feeder mouse and a feeder rat. This makes them a really nice median feeder in between. And they also just so happen to be a very tempting prey item specifically for ball pythons. So I'm now breeding my own feeder rats. This is one of the decor items that will go in their cage, so I should probably stop messing with it so much. There's been quite a bit of discussion about this on my Instagram, but I've basically come to the conclusion that if I can raise my own rats and provide them with all the toys and enrichment I want, uh, you know, it sure beats the heck out of buying frozen rodents who lived in a plastic box of aspen shavings their whole life. So I have this very wiggly, cheap wooden bridge. It is supposed to hang from a, uh, a screen lid, which is exactly what it will be doing. Very nice little item right here. Should hopefully provide some nice enrichment for some soft fur rats. Second box. I think this is a good place to continue. The excitement is building. Oh man, what all is in here? Okay, we got a couple things. First, and foremost, we have this KT Chew Proof water bottle. This is an all glass Chew Proof water bottle for rodents. It says that it's marketed for rabbits, ferrets, chinchillas, and other small animals. I think that the uh, rats should be perfectly capable of drinking out of this. It has a really nice large reservoir, so if I don't fill it up for a couple days, they will be perfectly fine. It'll be interesting to try and get this thing on an aquarium because it's meant to be affixed to something like a metal wire cage. So all glass rodent water bottle. It actually has a flat back. So I bet what I could do is I could put some adhesive Velcro along here and line some in the tank and just stick it on and off. That is adorable. There is a tiny rubber ducky inside of the water bottle. I have not seen it. Oh my god, he fell out. I have not seen anything this cute in a rodent water bottle before. Glad they included this thing. Back in there you go. Okay, let's see. This goes back on here. This is a pretty interesting little piece of equipment. This is for some uh, lizards that I acquired recently. The lizards I got this thing for are a species from the cloud forests of Mexico called Abronia mixteca. I have a pair of these lizards. They cost me a pretty penny, and 
and uh, we're making sure that we take care of them the right way because we want them to breed. I haven't shown these things on the channel yet, but they are absolutely stunning, like tiny blue and green dragons. You can find a couple pictures of them on my Instagram. So what we have in this box are computer fans. Because Abronia are primarily from high altitude cloud forests, they actually need both high humidity and high ventilation. It's pretty similar to what an isopod would need. So, uh, because I have them in a glass cage and not a screen cage like some people would recommend, I have picked up some three inch computer fans to actually get some airflow inside their little glass box. So computer fans, AC infinity. Uh, these are connected. It looks like they come apart about three feet, which is good. I can use these for two tanks side by side and uh, I only have to use one of my USB ports. We have just one more box to go through, and yet I think it will have some more interesting equipment. Hopefully it's a little less sparsely packed than the last two. All right, we got three more items. Number one, a nondescript white box. What is in this, you might ask? More rodent stuff. Uh, this is a living world ergonomic dish in terracotta. I figured I would need a relatively large and also chew-proof bowl for my rats. So now we have a chew-proof food dish and a chew-proof water bottle. This is definitely not chew-proof and neither is our next item, but that's okay because these are rodents and they were born to gnaw on things. This looks like an exciting item right here. This is the rosewood boredom breaker. Oh my goodness. This is the boredom breaker activity suspension bridge for hamsters and mice. So this interesting contraption will also hang from the uh, lid of my rodent's cage and this will allow them to utilize, uh, both of these actually, will allow them to utilize some of the height in their aquarium. I would keep them in something other than an aquarium because tanks uh, don't have the best ventilation they can get dirty faster, they're maybe not the best choice for rodents, but these guys have some serious teeth. So I'm content to just clean it a little more frequently and let them stay in there and they'll be fine. We are down to the very last item, folks. Last one in the box. I think we have saved the best for last here. This little box cost me uh, about the same amount as the rest of the shipment. Now contained within here is an item that marks a personal milestone for me. Something I'm very excited about getting into as 2019 goes on. That thing is salt water, and this item is a salinity tester. I have two saltwater aquariums waiting and ready to go in the garage right now. And uh, I am really, really excited to get into the world of saltwater fish and corals. It's a lot of work and it is relatively expensive but I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. I will also be needing this salinity monitor for one or two brackish setups that I'm going to be doing. Now, brackish water is uh, basically where fresh and salt water meet. I have one brackish species in my possession already, and I'm getting another one here fairly soon once I get its enclosure set up. So, we have some cool stuff in store for the new year. Arboreal alligator lizards, brackish and salt water tanks, African soft fur rats. I would call this a pretty cool assortment of unique and interesting items from Amazon.com or something like that. That concludes this upload. Like I said, nothing special, just a couple items I wanted to show you guys. Thought it was a good segue into uh, some of the projects I have going on that have yet to be seen on YouTube. So you have a lot to look forward from me in the coming months. My name is Daniel Carter at Afro Herp Keeper. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what all of this stuff is used for in the future, please feel free to hit subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. And uh, as always, thank you all very much for watching and have a good one. Okay, I was totally wrong. I actually have one more package. I'm gonna unbox this one too real quick. All right, here we are. I could not find any of this at the last expo I was at, so this is just an entire bag full of charcoal from joshesfrogs.com. I'm going to be using this stuff to create cultures of both tropical and temperate springtails. Yep. That is what it is.
All right, that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.